Happy holidays to y'all. Um, I thought I would come and do an after Christmas haul, a spiritual witchy haul. So welcome if you guys are new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, even though the ratings are disabled, please hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. It supports the channel and it does not cost you anything. So I am actually opening up my box <laughs> in my room. I'm upstairs. Um, and uh, I'll transport everything that's going to go downstairs, downstairs. So I got quite a few candles. I got some work to do for clients. Shout out to my clients. They know where to go. All right, I got some of these um, orange and green money candles. I got quite a few of these. Interesting. All right. So I got these uh, Martha the Dominator candles as well. And these are the pullout candles. Interesting. It comes with the green insert. Okay. Hello. Hello, audience. Hey, Z. Hello, sweetie. Hello. What you mean you will miss me? I'm not going nowhere. Um, you know, I can't, I don't think I can ever just leave YouTube, but I'm going to be leaving YouTube in a sense to where it's, more so like a process of disconnecting on more of a personal level. Um, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like leaving completely, no. Um, but eventually once I get my brick and mortar store set up. Okay, I got a couple of these. I think I got three of them. Okay, so here is another one of those gold or orange and green uh, money candles. So here's another St. Martha the Dominator candle. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is definitely necessary. It has a prayer on here. Oh, St. Martha the Dominator, I dedicate this lamp to you so you may take care of my needs and help me out of my miseries. Help me overcome all that attacks me just as you overcame the feral beasts that now lay at your feet. There are no obstacles you can't overcome. Give me health and work so I may take care of my needs and miseries. Make it possible that blank will be unable to live peacefully <laughs> until he comes to my feet. Yeah. So this is, you can use this for, um, I guess, love domination. Eh. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going on some other business ventures and, and um, taking my business to the next level. You know, I face a lot of discrimination on here. 
as a witch, Z, you know, a lot of discrimination. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, my practices are more so healing and peaceful, uh, you know, which is why I have been working with St. Martha. Um, and, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's th there should be no reason <clears throat> for me to have to fight for my human rights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's literally no reason. whatsoever okay all right let's see what else we got we got a double action heart candle so this is a candle that specifically reverses love curses and breakup work okay so if somebody does any kind of destruction working on your love life um you know this is uh the the uh, double action heart candle, which is different from the um, regular reversible candles. All right, and I got a couple of those. So this is a very small haul. Um, I do work for a select few per month. Okay, can't really do work for hundreds of people <laughs> per month. I just, you know, other people can do it. I can't do it. You know, maybe because I work more of the exclusive complicated cases. I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh, y'all, I was up eating Christmas dinner at the witching hour, so I'm still kind of full. <laughs> I'm still kind of full. Hello, Shamika Jackson. Hello. Yeah, th these are from Original Botanical. I love their candles. And you know what? Not once have I ever received a candle broken from them. Not once. I love this company. They are phenomenal. Uh, whenever I'm in New York, I'm going to visit them in person. Okay. And thank them for their wonderful uh you know, for providing some of the best spiritual witchy uh, supplies. And then like they ship it out quick, like they ship it quick. And yeah, and none of their stuff is ever broken. I got another one of those. Okay. And I, I have a lot of candles in here, but I don't just have candles. All right, let's see what this one is. Oh, more money. <laughs> more money. I think I, yeah, I got four of those. That's all I needed. I usually order what I need. All right, and I got um, another one of those double action uh, love reversal candles, because believe it or not, for some reason, there is a lot of people doing destruction magic to people's relationships, which in my humble opinion, I believe that depending on who you are and who they are, uh, that is an intent to possibly, um, you know, what can I say? Maybe to kill you maybe to destroy your life. I always tell people, even if you don't get back together with that person, it's very important that if somebody did any kind of breakup destruction work for you to reverse it anyway, because it can affect other aspects of your life. OK, um, you know, and it can affect your, uh, you know, all of the relationships that follow after that person. So even if you decide I don't want to be with that person, which coincidentally, when you start reversing 
the breakup magic, the person has a change of heart and then they actually start to want that person back. It's weird. And, you know, that's because breakup destruction work is meant to do what? It's meant to break you up. So, you know, yeah. All right. You should reverse it anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't. All right. Well, this one is up. I got another one. I got four of them, actually. So, of the double action heart candles. And they got this one double wrap. Okay. All right. Now, this is the traditional, you know, reversible candles. And I like how their wax, the red portion is like a deep burgundy color. Almost, it's almost purple. It has a lot of purple undertones to it. So these are, these are good. All right. Yeah. I got these bubble wraps. All right. Another one of those. This package was actually supposed to arrive the day before Christmas, but it was delayed. Okay, got another one of those reversible candles, the regular reversible candles. Okay, I don't know why that's falling out. That's okay. All right, so these coach candles, I really, really like them. I use them for uh, sealing, sealing my bottles, sealing my jars, sealing my, um, sealing my work. And I got these in black and then red. I believe these are like 50 cents each or something like that. Hey Jen, hey, how was how was y'all's Christmas? How was everybody's Christmas? I know mine was pretty good. It was pretty good. I can't complain at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine was pretty good. I just wish that I would have had these candles here. It would have been better. Sometimes you just got to have that constant flame going for a few days, okay? <laughs> but I had a, a uh, just a regular uh, grocery store white candle going that whole time. But, you know, it still would have been better if I'd have had these ones here. All right, then I got some some black and some white ones do some healing work with these and the black ones are really good for some quick vanishing work of, of negative spirits even though um i i feel the need to sage my house or to smudge my house out but it's not like an urgent need to do that but uh i really do i'm gonna do that today but because but since i've done that home protection yeah, can't nobody send people's spirits come over here and they go right back out. Okay, seriously. And I'm just now doing it too. Just now, like I've been living in my house for two years and I'm just now doing it. Uh, home protection. And basically it's to deflect, you know, people's spirits from coming into your house. And, you know, pe that's that's how people pretty much uh, you know, get to you or bother you or, you know, these unfamiliar spirits, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like that at all. Okay. I don't know your spirits that as soon as that's why things will start to get weird. Like if you feel uncomfortable in your, in your home and then all of a sudden you feel weird and you're like, what the hell? It, like you can feel that, that, that energy change, that energy shift.
especially if you sit and still. Okay. So I've got a few other items. Um, I did get some of those Lucky Rabbit feet. Okay, I got four of them. I should have four. Did I get three? I may have only gotten three. Okay, and these are supposed to be keychains, but obviously I would use these for ritual purposes. Okay, so these are authentic rabbit's foots. They're just, they're dyed green. Okay. I can smell the rabbit too. It's so weird. <laughs> I have a good sense of smell though. Yeah, it definitely smells like a rabbit. Okay, but it's just, it's green. So I got three of those. Uh, the other thing that I got is this sugar cane syrup. And this can be used for obviously love workings. Okay, but also this can be used for uncrossing. Okay. Let me smell this. Oh, it smells like molasses. So I got some sugar cane syrup. Obviously, I'm doing some love domination work for a client. <laughs> and, you know, um, that's one of the reasons why I've been working with St. Martha. Um, I think sometimes it's important for, and you know, oh, I'll get into that in another video at a way, way later date. All right. So I got me some more wormwood though. I love, love, love this stuff. And I'm going to get a, and you know what? I thought I had ordered like a big, you know, one pounder from uh, Amazon. I thought I did. I don't, I don't know what happened. This stuff is phenomenal. I love this stuff. I love to burn it around the house. I like to make a mix of this uh, to smudge my house out. Uh, but I'm going to be also making some uh, fiery protection oil with this. So I needed wormwood for that. All right. I got some money incense. Obviously, I'm doing money work for two clients currently, for two people. I love the way these smell. These are really good. So I use these, especially during my money rituals. Okay, what is this? I believe this is domination oil. My scissors. <clears throat> really? Man, where are my scissors? I wonder if I can use this thing. I'm going to try. Hold on. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is the St. Martha Domination Oil. Thought I would try this out. Mm, this smells good. Yep, so I got some of that to go with the with the uh the candle. The last two things that I got, I got some uh uh destruction incense. I love this stuff. And what it's good for is destroying bad energy, breaking it up, getting rid of it. You see it has a tornado on it. And see, I'm I'm I was born and raised in Tornado Alley. <laughs> So, you know, and, and it's not about destroying a person. Some people need to be destroyed. I'm not even going to lie to you, especially if somebody trying to do harm to you or trying to do destructive harm to your family. I am not the type of person 
to feel sorry for people that are trying to destroy my family. Uh, you know, if it destroys you and then and, and, and makes you feel real sick inside to not be able to do harm to my family, yeah, that's a good thing for me. That's a good thing. Okay. In fact, let me grab my let me grab my uh sensor or my cauldron so I can burn some of this right now. Yeah, you have a problem come for my children. So, you know, I do not care, nor should you. Okay, people will come and they'll do they'll be giving them, they'll be giving you these terroristic threats. <laughs> okay, threatening your well-being, threatening your children's well-being, threatening people's well-being. Uh, I do not care about you. Okay. I, I am first priority. Always put yourself as first priority. Okay. And your loved ones. I don't care. Clients. Okay. As well. Okay. You come for one of my clients and, you know, and they'll try to make you feel sorry for them. People will actually lodge attacks against you. And then all of a sudden, you're supposed to feel sorry for them. Like, uh, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Okay. Let's put it like that. Okay. I'm not sorry. All right. I got one more thing I'm going to show y'all, but I'm going I'm to light up some of this incense. I'm going to burn this too on every floor. Oh yeah, this, it has a really, really sweet smell to it. I wish my enemies great turmoil, guilt, and negative karma. Call my ancestors in to bring peace and good spirits into my home. Blessed be. Mm-hmm. And you can also uh, put this with a uh, exorcism incantation. I got my feather over there. I'm going to go through the house with my feather and I'm going to burn some copal. And this, in fact, I'm going to do a mix. Uh, the plan is to do a copal resin mix with some of my wormwood and some of this. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You got to go. Okay. And see, the thing of it is, is that you got to, when you think about the earth and, you know, what we're dealing with here, it, you know, we're not just dealing with thought and perception and intellect. We're also dealing with nature. And we all know that in nature, you're going to run into some predators. You are. And especially when it comes to spiritual predators. And sometimes when people are casting out to you or are trying to like almost like fish in the sea, it is because their spirits want to feed or take from you. It just, you know, it, it's, it is the nature of nature. Okay, now some of y'all, some of us have in this, you know, incarnation in this life right now, uh, in this level of karma, we don't have to go out and be predatory. We don't have to do that. Okay. But at the end of the day, if somebody is predatorial towards you, which is why I've been working with St. Martha, mm -hmm, 
last thing I want to show y'all is these peonia seeds. Okay, I got some of these for uncrossing, unhexing work. Hmm. They have an interesting smell. But I want to use, I want to use these. These can be used in candles too. They're that small to where they can be, you know, dressed on your candles. And so I wanted some of these because um, I don't know, I just wanted to try them and I read good things about them. And, you know, they'll also be used in my um, uncrossing jars because I've got quite a bit to, uh, I'm going to toss a few of these in my uncrossing uh, reversal jars, okay? And that's it. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Let me see what y'all commenting about. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, it is something about, especially these. I really love these. I really, really love their candles. Um, Original Botanical, uh, they have some really, really good candles. They really do. So, yeah, I definitely did enjoy Christmas. I think that it was not necessarily, you know what? I'm appreciative, okay? I will say that. Next year, Christmas is going to be totally different. Totally different. Mm hmm I'm like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well I, I always get what I need pretty much and so in this haul because I get these shipments in all the time uh in this particular haul I just you know obviously I'm doing uncrossing uh doing love work for clients because yeah To be honest with you, nobody should have to do love work. But since things are so out of balance, you know, I believe in nature, but hate is a totally different thing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody hating on you, that's like a, that, that's not, to me, that's not nature. Somebody hating. Because somebody hating, think about it, they're a codependent person that th they're not connected with nature because every living thing on this planet is supposed to find a way of survival. And, you know, when you think about it, we are not animals. We are people. And I'm sorry, you know, I, I think that it does take, a, a you know, a certain amount of intellect when it comes to being a person, a people, you know, but you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the whole point. That's one of the reasons why I'm working with St. Martha though. I'm gonna come talk to y'all about that later. Uh, you know, because of predatorial people, um, you know, and just, yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And a part of her wisdom is that people, people should not feel as though they can take advantage of you. People need to fear you. That's part of her wisdom that she's been bringing to me because I've been meditating to her lately. And she's like, yeah, people have to fear you. Otherwise, people will come and they will take their crap out on you. And that's not the way it's supposed to be done. And that's why she actually chose me. Because she said, listen, uh, you know, the, j just what she's saying to me is, you know, I've been watching what's going on with you. And like, uh, you know, people seem to need to learn that there is consequences in their actions. And, you know, she's like, let me help you because I'll, I'll get them. <laughs> and so that's exactly what needs to happen. 
So um, I don't know. I may come back for you guys today, but I've I've got to get this work done. That's one. Of, that's another reason why. Because honestly, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I got to get these candles lit for clients, and I got to write out petitions or finish petitions. So I'll be busy. So you know. Um, so I may not come back, but. I am going to make, like I said, an incense with this uh, destruction incense and this wormwood and some copal resin. So I may be able to come back when I do that. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm about to, I'm going to see, I'm going to check my messages and see what's up. Otherwise I'll come right back because I'm going to mix it up kind of right here. I'm going to mix everything up. And there's a few other ingredients uh, in the ingredients and essential oils that I'm going to add to it. So I may come back and show that to y'all. But anyway. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Okay. Y'all have a good one. Blessings.